In this video I'll show you how to turn this into this. It's quick and easy. Let's begin. I recommend that the length of your video clip is at least 2 minutes in real time. Otherwise the end result might be too short as we are going to increase the clip speed significantly. My sample clip is almost 4 and half minutes long, as you can see here. And this is how it plays back at the moment. In order to change the speed, right click your clip and select speed slash duration. Depending on your clip, you might want to use different speed value, but 1500% will work fine in my case. Anything between 1000 and 2000% is usually a good place to start. Next we are going to change the time interpolation setting from frame sampling to frame blending. This will create a motion blur effect on our clip. And that's it. If you see a red or yellow indicator line above your clip, you might need to render your timeline for smooth playback. Here's how my clip plays back at the moment. Motion blur effect is not really visible yet. I'm going to set in and out markers on both ends of the clip by moving the playhead at the beginning of the clip and pressing the letter I on my keyboard. Then I move the playhead at the end of the clip and press O. After that, I open the sequence menu and click the render in to out option. This might take a while, depending on your computer and the length of your clip. And now you should be able to preview the final result properly. If you have any questions regarding this tutorial, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.